The next is email segmentation. I particularly like this because I, I live in CRM systems, right, for work. So I think about data structure and custom information that's being collected by this organization that's different from this other organization. We are sending more and more emails all the time. What, like 300 billion emails every day is the latest stat. <laughs> Fortunately, they're not all in your inbox, <laughs> but globally. <laughs> so that's a lot of email that if we could translate that into mail that we get, like right now or somehow, maybe someone stole my identity. I get a lot of mail about Medicare. And I mean, you can judge my appearance. I'm not eligible for Medicare yet. <laughs> I don't know how I got on that list. The junk mail that we get, if we think about that from a digital perspective, there's a lot of emails that are filling our inbox, even from organizations that we care about that we are not opening and we're not reading. And so that means it's time to really look at your email lists. One, always make sure that you're honoring opt-ins, that that's an actual that's a law, a federal law that people need to opt in in order to see certain kinds of notifications from you. And, and then besides that, the way that you can further segment to then personalize your message. Why are you sending this message to this group of people? You know, maybe that message would be better suited to another group of people. And so the, I see the question, the only way that you can really act on this is to take a look at your data. How is your data structured? Can you put together folks that attended at events, that gave you donations, that have engaged in some sort of campaign, have signed up for special communications from you? Can you put all of those pieces of data together in one place? You have a CRM system that allows you to do reporting and filtering in order to actually see and this um, relatively homogenous groups <laughs> putting your people together to then have target communications. I know that one of the organizations we work with, the International Mountain Bicycling Association, their end of year campaign every single year, they are segmenting more and more and more. And I think they ended up creating something like 12 or 13 different online donation forms at the end of last year for the end of year giving campaign that then they were sending that had slightly different language, a slightly different default donation value on the form that were quick to set up. You know, it's just sort of a, a copy of the same form over and over and then making tweaks to those forms and then having a lot of different emails that are going to a smaller group of people. But instead of asking all donors for a base gift of $50, maybe this group of donors should be asked for a base gift of $250 and this other group of donors, a $5 recurring donation. So that's the, the, the benefit of, of segmenting. And you can only do that um, if you look at your data structure. So there's a lot of work required and a lot of review required before um, you can take advantage of this. But you know, I mean, count at the end of the day, how many new deleted emails you have within your folder. And that can be a motivation to take, take this one especially serious in terms of how you're, you're interacting with your audience.